Oop, well, that's going to be some boat repair. Good morning. It is sail bag measuring day and I've got a lot to do. The first thing I need to do is I'm going to do two measurements. One, I'm going to measure around the sail bag as is. And then two, I'm going to take a second set of measurements where I drop the lazy jack lines and I just measure the sail itself. And as you can see, the sail bag is just in absolute, is in desperate need of going to sail bag heaven. I have my paperwork from Littell and Palesworth, and I am basically going to follow all of their instructions. And yep, it's a little soggy here today in Florida, and I am chasing the rain, but I'm gonna do my best. So the first thing they want me to measure on the reboot is the circumference of sail at the very front of the stack around the headboard and above the boom. They're gonna measure the existing sail pack, the actual length of it, and just give that as a measurement so we have it. This side is 48, and starboard side, sorry birds, is, and why am I measuring both sides, you say? Aren't they just gonna be even? And the answer is nope, not always. In this case, it is 49 on this side, including sail pack 40, 49. Number two is circumference of sail three feet aft of the mast, which is right there. And again, I'm going to do outside the sail, 44, and do the other side too. Whoops, you get the picture, including sail pack 40, 49. Next is circumference of the sail two feet forward of the clue. Okay, here we are at the back of my sail pack and you can see here's my sail and this thing is the clue. It holds the back of the main sail down to the mast. It's interesting because we can actually adjust this if we want but we never do. It's more of like a, a racing thing than a fun cruising thing so we've never moved it. 42. All right, 42. Okay, and then the next part I'm working on back here is the distance from the clue, this thing, to my top reefing line. And my bottom reefing line is my black and white one right here. And my top reefing line is right in here. From the clue to that reefing point end point to end point, 50. Okay, the next measurement is circumference of the sail, not including the boom, two feet forward of the clue. And I did not have a clue what a clue was. I used to know what a clue was. When we took the ASA classes, we had to learn all the parts of your boat. But for the things that you don't use a lot, at least for me, I might just forget the names. And this is why I had trouble with the word problems in the math part of the SAT because I always overthought everything. So do I measure from the start of the, the end of the clue or the beginning of the clue, the middle of the clue? I'm, I'm just gonna go with the end of the clue that's this reinforced piece right here because better a little bit too big than a little bit too small. Okay, and this right here, is 24 inches. Again, I'm doing everything one time on the outside of the sail. The mast is 28 and a quarter. A measure from the tack fitting up around the flakes of the sail to the top of the headboard, compacting sail folds on both port and starboard side. They are typically different and should add up to number one above. Mm, math. One hand for the boat, especially when you're concentrating on not what your body's doing, but what your mind is doing. Before I embraced one hand for the boat, I cracked a rib and broke two toes. Not all in the same time. I'm a slow learner. Okay, now I am going to release the lazy jack line to let this drop down. Not going to want to go. And these are getting replaced too because they're green and not the good kind of green. When lines start to decay, they get really abrasive and that is not what lazy jack lines are supposed to be. I'm going to replace these as well. And they're not going to be in your typical color because 
why would I? But I'm not gonna tell you what color they're gonna be yet. All right, now I'm gonna measure sail just inside the sail. Bottom of the sail, compact. Let's see, pretty snug. Pretty snug is 44. And now I'm gonna do the same for the starboard side. I'm gonna see if I can reach it without having to let this lazy jack down. My arms aren't long enough. All right, I'm gonna see if I can go around the side. Ew, <laughs> I don't know what's in there, but that was grand and gross. Bottom of the sail. Around to the middle, 42. And now I'm going to put it all back together and zip it up as best as I can. These are the zippers I added last year. They said marine grade, but I don't think they are marine grade because they are not holding up super well, but they also weren't super expensive either. So if I paid a lot of money for them, I would have been mad, but they're not that expensive. They got me another good year out of the sale pack and I hate to throw things away until I absolutely have used them all up. That is no good. Just nothing left. Driven the wheels off of it. And I am at that point with this sail bag. I believe it is original to the boat. And it's just time for a new one. And I think one of the other things I'm going to do once I get the new sail pack on is I've got a couple of ideas that I think will help make the sail pack not be covered in bird shit all day, every day. The new color of the sail packs is going to be one that, oh man, you can see why it's time. Definitely time. Let's try it again. I don't know why today it has decided to be shorter on this side, but there you go. I think that's why the zipper separated. It's just not lining up very well. It's getting soggy and saggy. Put this broken piece away because I have to get this put back together or the birds will redouble their efforts trying to make a nest in the sail. We're gonna let this one go down a little because the zippers are failing. It's getting hot. One of the things I'm going to do with the sail bag to make the inevitable bird poo less noticeable is changing the color of it. I've already picked a color, leave it a surprise. It won't be quite as contrasty to bird poo. I'm also gonna see if I can do some sort of a, a washable cover that I can make that's just sort of like a light screen cover that just kind of sits along the top. Reboot is at dock, it's when it's bird wars. Without sailing, it's fine and I don't need it, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna fabricate something that just lays right across the top and just keeps the poo from congregating here. Yeah. And that's another thing I forgot to do is I got to measure the entire length of the cover. This is from the aft face of the mast to the aft edge of the clue. That's where my grandpa's measuring tape comes in very handy. Some people inherit China. I inherit tape measures. Sit you down there. Just check and make sure I'm up against the boom. That is 207 inches. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, everything is measured. I'm gonna racing against the impending thunderstorms that we have coming up this afternoon, and it is getting hot, even with the nice breeze. Best times of the day are early in the morning and almost right before sunset, because otherwise the no CMs will get you. Bring my paperwork in to Latell and Aylesworth and send it off to them. And I can't wait for the next step.